When Dr. Shepard founded this school, he made a promise to the students who came through the door that they would get a quality education that would help them and transform their lives. So we continue that promise today. And the only difference is that we call it Eagle Promise. We wanted to put together another five-year plan that would determine how we teach, how we train our students, how we prepare them for the marketplace, uh, what we need to do in research, what we need to do in innovation. Uh, and I'll tell you this, people used to think that NCCU is a master's comprehensive institution. That we are, but we are also research intensive. You know, last year alone, through our two centers, we generated in sponsored research $33.1 million. You wouldn't find that at a master's comprehensive institution around the country. There's a big need to have scientists be able to work on clinical trials. About three years ago, people here at NCCU started working on how do we get a, a clinical sciences research program here. And through a whole lot of work and working with Duke, uh, we were able to get the program started, and it's run by Dr. Tracy Locklear. The Clinical Research Sciences program is built under the Bright Institute because the Bright Institute focuses on uh, biomanufacturing and drug discovery and development. The Clinical Research Sciences program is well positioned within the Institute because it focuses on picking up where the Bright Institute leaves off from the drug discovery and manufacturing straight into clinical trials and clinical research more broadly. It's my experience so far, we've been learning good clinical practices, we've been learning the principles of clinical research, so both they've been quite um, enlightening and they've contributed a lot to what I know so far about clinical research. Our students after they graduate, roughly 85% of them get employed in the life sciences and about roughly 80% stay in the state. So if the goal of the Institute is workforce development for, for the state of North Carolina, then I think we're doing an excellent job. We also uh, emphasize innovation, research, and entrepreneurship uh, because if you look at the way that we're moving out into the marketplace, how, how could our students be competitive? And so we try to create a hub on our campus here that can show our students who have ideas and entrepreneurship how would they put it together? How do they secure the funding, um, innovation and research? The Fab Lab is a creative space where students are allowed to explore their ideas and create their ideas and hopefully bring us a new and innovative future. Dr. Salim has really done an amazing job of creating a safe space where you're able to bring forth your identity and use that as a power. It's your superpower, who you are. Um, and this is a space that always keeps that front and center. My major actually is computer science and business. I have a dual degree. Um, and the way that the Fab Lab works is that it allows you to actually get that practical experience. You know, we think a lot about theory, about SWOT analysis, about financial analysis, but we usually don't ask the question of how do you actually apply that to a real world business. And the Fab Lab allows you to work on projects from local entrepreneurs to support the African American community or to support the Durham community overall. And you're able to bring in all of those theories and actually apply them. Sometimes they don't work, <laughs> uh, but most of the times they do. One of the strengths of NCCU is our music program. We have the best jazz studies program in the world, uh, nationally acclaimed. What this program did for me personally was it brought out the best in me that I never saw in me, that I never knew was in me. This program finds your, your skill level, your talent, they meet you at the level you are as a student, and they pinpoint your strengths, and they, they pinpoint your weaknesses and your skills and your talent and your musicianship and then they give you the tools and knowledge necessary to strengthen them. This program really stresses the tradition of the music, the history of the music, the core values of it. It's been a dream come true for me. The Jazz Studies program teaches life skill. To be a musician you have to have discipline, self-motivation, learn how to work with groups, learn how to dig deep within yourself to find who you are. And so many of those things are what we do, regardless of what discipline you're in. In the state of North Carolina, we are the only institution that offers visual impairment. Uh, the only HBCU and the only institution that offers that program. These are emerging programs that will create the the, the workforce for tomorrow. Everything we do in preparing teachers for careers and what have you though is always in service to others. 
And so that's very much where our program sits within its responsibilities to the state as well as uh, individuals in the state that, that need those services. I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa when I was 20 years old. It is a degenerative retinal disease. It's slow progressing, so about 17, 18 years after my diagnosis, I had to stop driving, I had to stop working, and I needed to figure out something to do with the second half of my life. Once I got into my own program to relearn things that I took for granted, cooking, uh, taking care of my home, walking without tripping or falling over things, I learned of a need for teachers, for students with visual impairment. And I decided that I wanted to rise to the challenge and help meet that need. I tell people all the time, local Carolina Central University used to be the best kept secret. We don't want it to be that anymore. Our exposure internationally and globally is very important. Uh, not only do we want our students to go out, but we also want to recruit, you know, students from there because when they come, they make our campus better. They make our students better. Uh, and so that's, that's, that's part of the strength of, the, of, of this university. In arts, in humanities, in sciences, in law, uh, we're doing very well. And we will continue to tell that story. But we're trying to position ourselves as a master's comprehensive institution that can compete with any school and anywhere in the world. And that's what we want our students to be able to do.